What's old is new on this episode of Down Days, as we explore the holiest of the holy, catch up with the real-life Indiana Jones, and dig into one of the most iconic places on the planet. We are headed to Jerusalem. This is Down Days. Hey, I'm Tanner, and these are my brothers, Pat and Dave. We are pro surfers. We travel, and we are on a mission to explore the world. Next on the list, Israel. Tanner, what are your thoughts when you think about the Holy Land? What do you think about instantly? I don't know. I think I'm just, I'm really curious what it's going to be like. I think it's... I heard it is pretty intense. I heard it is intense, but it's cool because it's like a tangible thing. Like, you always read the books and you hear the stories, but like, we're actually going to get on the ground floor and be able to kind of like see what's going on and see like what is the source. We're going to the source, actually. Pretty excited just to kind of like go, wow, let's get right in the heartbeat of it and just kind of feel it pulse around us and it's just going to be overwhelming, I think. <laughs> to the Holy Land we go! Tel Aviv is beautiful. It was awesome hooking up with Arthur, and Zulan 10 was next level. But today is all about the past. It goes without saying that any trip to Israel would not be complete without exploring the capital city of Jerusalem. So Dano, here it is right here. Can you get that? Jerusalem, number one freeway. The city is one of the oldest cities in the world and is an important religious spot for Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. It has been attacked, besieged, destroyed many times, and is still around to tell the tale. So it looks like we're coming down into the Mount of Olives and pedestrians want to get in the road. Oh my gosh, there's police everywhere. I'm kidding, man. I'm freaking out right now. It's just, I just had my first glance at the Holy Land. My, I have chicken skin. This is crazy. It's like scary, like the moment of anticipation I have right now. I'm nervous. Jerusalem is only about an hour away from Tel Aviv and the coast. Surrounding Jerusalem is the Palestinian territory known as the West Bank. Beyond the West Bank and Jerusalem, to the southeast is the Dead Sea. Sick! So here we are. <laughs> Behind us is the Damascus Gate. We're in Jerusalem, the holiest city in the world, and dude, it is wild. I'm super excited, kind of nervous. like. A lot of tension around. It's definitely, uh, you know, it's a scene here. So it's kind of got a full vibe going. So it's yeah, thought good. energy. And I get what everyone was saying about the tangible energy for sure. The old city of Jerusalem is divided into the Jewish, Muslim, Christian, and Armenian quarters. The gold dome visible from the city is the Temple Mount and is an important religious site. The famous western wall is located on the western side of the temple. The area is stacked with ridiculous number of historical sites. Regardless of your beliefs, just spending the day wandering the tiny roads and walkways is a worthwhile experience. This is it. I mean, you can't find places more deeper in roots than exactly where we're standing Dude, right it's now. insane. Yeah. I love it. We're at the front door knocking. Let's get in there. Check yes. it out. Let's go. There is so much history in Jerusalem, it can be daunting. 
So we decided to hook up with the guide to show us around. Hey, you must be the three surfers. Yeah, yeah Patrick, yeah. nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. I'm Danny the Digger. My name is Danny Herman. I'm known as Danny the Digger, being an archaeologist. And we are in the heart of the old city of Jerusalem, in the Jewish quarter, at the site called Caldo Maximus, which was the name for the main avenue of the street of the city in Roman times. This is such a unique city. It's got like a big hilo all around it. Actually, there's one thing that it doesn't have. You cannot surf here, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna show you a lot of stuff let's now. Surf. Let's go. Okay, let's check it out. The blessing of Jerusalem, which is also its curse, is that it's holy for more than one ethnic group, more than one religion. The city in general is one square kilometer divided into four quarters. You are now in the Muslim quarter, which is the biggest, the most populated one. There's also Christian quarter, Armenian quarter, and Jewish quarter. Gee, boys, it's pretty nice. We're on our way to the Western Wall now. We're following Danny the Digger, who's a legend, and uh, we're having fun with it. The Western Wall has its high low of sanctity. One rabbi told it to me best. You can contact God anywhere, but at the Western Wall, it's a local phone call. So you're going to see how Jews especially, but also others, are relating to that Western Wall with admiration. Well, the Via Dolorosa is the Latin name for the Stations of the Cross, a path that allegedly Jesus took from the place of his trial to the site of his crucifixion. You see the indentation in the wall that all the women touching? This is arguing to be a handprint caused when Jesus stood here and leaned against the wall. For the Catholic world, it's a very emotional journey to walk on this axis and recite and contemplate on the life and death of Jesus of Nazareth. The irony is that this is all happening in the heart of the Muslim quarter. Half of the Via Dolorosa is within the Muslim quarter, and Israel is in charge of all of this. That was a pretty wild ride right there. We kind of turned down the one street and there's, there's a sort of like chaos in a way. You know, there's so many people, so many different sections of belief. Danny's actually teaching us like Balagan. And it just means like a big mess. It's kind of what he's saying, you know? So everybody's mixing and it's freaking wild. The landmarks and sites in the old city are pretty mind-bending. It's not every day you can honestly say you walked in the footsteps of Jesus. After an incredible experience in the old city, we said our goodbyes to Dan and got back on the road. This time, for a trip over the wall and in to Palestine. In the next chapter of our journey, we'll be diving deep into the heart of things while exploring the West Bank. There, we will visit the separation wall and meet with Claire Anastas, a Palestinian Christian whose family has been caught in this bloody war. After exploring the West Bank, we will head back to the beach in Old Jaffa to meet up with Arthur and some Arab Israelis, talk surfing for peace, and knock out one more rad session in the beautiful Mediterranean. This is Down Base.